Alright guys, here's a uh, quick video on the Saiga IZ240 versus the IZ340, which is new for 2012. It's gonna show you some of the differences and uh, um, and basically what needs to be done to convert it to a um, to AK-74 assault rifle. So they come into the States in this sportalized format with a Marty Cola stock. The one on top here is the IZ-240. Basically the IZ-340 have a different front end. Uh, it has a threaded front side base. Um, this is the muzzle cap. There's a few, uh, I don't know if you can see it. There are four welding points underneath. And uh, once you remove the weld, supposedly you can remove this cap and uh, so a 24 millimeter muzzle on there. Uh, weld knit lug. It's been shaded off so you can just put a clean rod through it. Uh, accessory logs being shaded off. The uh, um, gas block have no venting holes. Um, the uh, Four grip has no heat shell inside of it. Uh, it's gonna be quite a bit of work to uh, get that in there. Okay, I just popped the uh, upper four grip off on the uh, IZ340. It's pretty standard, pretty, uh, not too bad. Um, but you'll see underneath the uh, lower hand grip, uh, there's no uh, metal shield. This one I got from Arsenal of Las Vegas, it's a Russian surplus version, and it does have a heat guard, here it is. Um, I tried to pop this one out and try to pop this one out and put it in here, but it won't fit because you have to cut some grooves here and there, so I might just swap it, it will be easier. Unfortunately I modified this uh, um, lower hand guard to fit the uh, Sentry M74 uh, Bulgarian surplus. So uh, it doesn't fit too well. Um, that's too bad. Um, I had to get rid of the Sentry. It was horrendously built. Was, everything is loose. On those uh, um, side guns I got, both of those, everything is nice and tight. Fits really well. Um, brand new, chrome barrel. They're great. They're definitely worth the price. The Sentry on the other hand, everything was loose. It looks pretty worn and beat up and horrendously built. Um, highly recommended re avoiding sentry stuff. It's a uh, scope mount and a 10 round um, magazine comes with the rifle. Um, does not require conversion to popping at 30 rounds. So that's legal in your state, which it is in mine. I can pop a 30 round in there. Nice. This is a uh, um, Polish Tento, I believe. 30 round mag. There you go, no problem. Pops right in. And the IZ240 is the um, 300 dollars model. Um, they used to be 350 uh, now it's a little lower. Um, I guess they're changing the importer. So, uh, the original importer's marks are scruffed off, so that's kind of nasty over there. Um, $300 for the IZ240 and this is about $480, $500 gone for the 340 which is pretty expensive considering um, to, to, to do a true AK-74 you would take this front side off and pop in one that has a real BLA knock gas block, you probably need to pop this off too only thing that's nice about it is he has this front um, stock uh, retainer already installed. Uh, they cut a pretty deep hole through this to put that lever in there but uh, it's kind of nice it's already in there otherwise this piece alone could cost $50. So Gets can get pretty expensive. And underneath this the barrel is not painted. Kind of interesting. This part is painted, this part is. So if I remove 
This um, hangar retainer. The hangar retainer, you'll see there's no painting underneath. This is the barrel. Cut it pretty deep for that hangar retainer. Okay, it's a missing bullet guy. The bullet guy is not really necessary unless you have a high capacity magazine that uh, for the last round you may have a weak spring um, to feed properly. So uh, this one has a uh, square channel for the bullet guy. It don't cost a lot of money so it's probably a good idea to pull that in. Another thing about those side guys is it has a uh, bolt hole open, this uh, um, metal piece here. Moving, so ball hole open. Um, it's kind of nice to have. Uh, it's a pretty cool feature. Um, I will leave it in here as part of the conversion. Here's one thing good about those Saiga rifles is they have matching part numbers. Some people likes it. Some people don't really care. I fall into the don't care group, um, but it's really cool to have. Uh, as far as the piston goes, the side guard piston is missing the um, rings around it. Usually it will cut some rings around this piston. Uh, but they didn't cut any. I guess it may not be necessary. They're not designed for uh, full auto fire anyway. Or I guess they just kind of save, money, save some money and don't do it anymore. Um, also, unfortunately, there is a hole here for a Saiga style underhand guard for this screw over here. Uh, it's really not necessary, but it will have that hole in there, so this needs to be plucked up. And otherwise, just pretty much the standard AK, Saiga to AK conversion. Move the trigger guard forward, put a uh, pistol style grip, change out the blast stock. Putting the uh, fire control group, triggers and everything, and then you'll be good. One nice thing about the uh, IZ340 is it comes with a thousand meter sight. So that's one kilometer. That's pretty cool. Standard sight got IZ340, 300 meter sight. Will still work, no problems. That's pretty much the effective range on those weapons anyway. 300 meters. Um, it's kind of cool. It's got the dimple on this version, and again the removed important mark, which is a pretty nasty job they did on this one. This one is a TTI import. This one here is a Legion. A little nicer job, but still pretty bad, so gonna have to find a way to remove this ugly mark. Also, it has no uh, safety detent. Safe, fire, smart. No safety defend here either. And that's it. Spot it. Hopefully, uh, this will help you. Find out which one to get. So have fun with your conversion. Always be safe.